cost me my life savings. How did this problem come to be? Like most things around here, there's a very simple answer. My brother, Chet. <laughs> All right, this family meeting is running a little long, and I've got something important to talk about. So do I. All right, the chair recognizes Miss Dee Dee Harris. How come Chet and Ernest have all the fun around here? This meeting has nothing to do with who has fun. It's about our family. Okay, can I be excused? I need to make my invitation for my tea party. Oh, sure, honey. Now, can we get on with yes, my business? Yes, sir. Well, as long as we're complaining, how come every time Ernest cleans up the room, I can't find my stuff? No, 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 no. I clean up our room so I can get to my bed without using a weed whack. <laughs> okay, resolved. Chet will keep his half of the room cleaner. Now, can we get to my business? Yes. Oh, I have an announcement. Since this is an odd year, we will be spending Thanksgiving at my mother's. Any year we go to your mother's is an odd year. <laughs> At least my mother can cook. If you call that cooking. Her food's so bad, the flies swap themselves. Well, let's talk about last Thanksgiving at your mother's. That wasn't cooking, that was awesome. That turkey should have been served by firemen. All right, we'll go to your mother. Oh, okay. Now, can we get down to my business? Okay. Oh, Pop, can I go? I got a special afternoon practice. Fine. One less person to interrupt me. Right. Now, before we're all too old to be together without a nurse, <laughs> I have something important to talk about. Our last name is Harris. Not Rockefeller, not Trump, and not Perot. Now, I just cleaned out the checking account paying these bills. Mm. We got to stop spending. And this credit card bill. Last month, we were $700 below the limit. Mm. Now, there's only 300 left on it. Oh. If we don't do something about it right now, we're going to be as broke as the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Pay attention, Junebug. Mm -hmm. You can learn from this. Hey, don't look at me, Pops. I got my film seminar next weekend. It costs $275. It's taken me nearly a year, but I've saved every penny. Maybe you can learn something from me. Oh. Perfect. Now the egg is teaching the chicken. <laughs> that is wonderful, Ernest. Well, this family is out of control, and we're going after the real troublemakers, these plastic loan sharks. I want everybody's credit card. Why me? I only use mine in emergencies. <laughs> this is an emergency. Come on. You two lady, cough up yours. You're the worst defender. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Boxing Hall of Fame collector plate. <laughs> Those dishes are gonna be worth a fortune someday. Nobody wants to finish their soup and see Leon Finks grinning at them from the bottom of the bowl. All I'm saying is we got to change our ways. Okay, George, from now on, we will lay off the credit card. No, 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 no. That's too easy. We're gonna cut these things in half and forget they ever existed. Okay, I'm fine with that, as long as everybody's cutting up there. Every last one of them. Come on. Hey, hey, I gotta go to the library, unless you want to cut that card up, too. Don't tip me. <laughs> right, well, since we're cutting costs, let's not exchange anniversary gifts this year. <laughs> sure, like you can handle that. Oh, I can handle that. Plus, you won't have to run out tonight and search desperately for something for me. Why don't I do that? Our anniversary is tomorrow. <laughs> Could that be Dee Dee Harris? You look so grown up. I know. I'm trying to decide what to wear to my tea party. Well, you couldn't look any prettier than you do right now. Thanks, but I still think that's a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> I think you better run upstairs and change before your mother comes home and find out I got another woman in this house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pop. The mighty Moe's take the field. Yeah, and I'm pitching. Nobody can hit the old Harris Express. So who the subway cops playing today? Department of Water and Power. Hey, mm. you take it easy on them, Pops. The last time you beat them, we ain't have electricity for the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, give me your credit card. Why? Because we cut them up. Too many people spending too much money. But I only use mine for emergencies. Like, I don't have money. <laughs> you think I like this? We gotta cut down. 
Your mother and I aren't even exchanging anniversary presents. What? It was her idea. I'm off the hook. <laughs> what am I saying? You're never off the hook. <laughs> Let me tell you something about women. Any woman that says she doesn't want a gift for her anniversary is lying. But I got to get a present. No, I can't. I, I got to play softball. You run down to Hannah's department store and you get her something really nice. Oh, I got just the thing. A dust buster. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Never get a woman anything useful. Go to the frilly department and you get her something really special. Okay, how much should I spend? It's your mother. Spend what it takes and keep it under $25. <laughs> Whoa, make that under $2. <laughs> you know, we got to put it on that credit card. Uh-uh, we're not using the credit card anymore. It's an emergency. <laughs> Yo, Squirt, if I got a surprise for you. The XJ-1290, the ultimate sound machine. CD graphic equalizer radio. So where'd you get that, man? Hallie's. Where'd you get the money? Oh, I need money. I use my credit card. You mean the one you were supposed to cut up? Oh. No, see, Dad sent me to get a gift for Mom. Now, after I got it, I'm strolling through the stereo department, and all of a sudden, I hear this sound. So you know I'm thinking it's a girl, right? <laughs> so I turned around and bam! Whoa. There she was, with a little woofers and tweeters. <laughs> and she's saying, come over here. I said, no, I can't. I'm trying to be good. She said, just for a minute. Come touch me. I want you to take me home with you. I say, baby, it's wrong. She say, if love is wrong, I don't want to be right. <clears throat> well, yes, that's all nice and fine, but uh, I have a little story of my own. It's called Jerk and the Beanstalk. <laughs> now, you see, in this story, this uh, common sense challenged kid, <laughs> is given the family's life savings, right? And sent out to buy a cow. Instead, he gets suckered into buying a handful of beans and ends up with a giant trying to rip his head off. <laughs> yeah, what's your point? <laughs> it's an analogy. You see, Dad's the giant. And who's the jerk? <gasps> Me, for expecting you to get it. <laughs> and which one's your favorite? Well, the orange is you. But this green one? Mm, this is definitely me. You look good in hats. Oh, thanks, Dee Dee. Oh, not bad. Hey, Mom. Listen, I need to talk to you about this credit card thing. Uh, yeah, what about it? You still have it? Yeah. Let me have it. You know, you're too much. You are just like he is. Like who? Pop, does that guy know women or what? I don't know how much he knows about women, but he's right about this. Oh, he sure is. Any woman who says she doesn't want an anniversary gift is lying. <laughs> Where on earth did you come up with that? <laughs> oh, I didn't. Pop did. <laughs> is he buying me an anniversary present? Oh, Mom, don't make me tell you. It's gonna ruin your surprise. He is sweet. No willpower, but he's sweet. So are you getting him a gift? I guess I have to. I'm gonna take this blood sucker out for one last purchase, and then I'm gonna drive a stake through its heart. Mom, you'll never guess who they added to my seminar. Ooh, so that's where you hide your emergency money. I mean, we heard the rumors, but that's one place we never thought to look. <laughs> I always thought it would be safe in my button box. Huh. No man ever thought he could sew on his own buttons. <laughs> so what do you need it for now? I just had a problem using my credit card at Hallie's department store. And? It was maxed out. Somebody with no willpower made two purchases this morning. One for $25 and one for $299.99. And, 
And we both know who that is. We sure do. They rejected my card. I was publicly humiliated. So it's time to humiliate him, right? Well, that's true, but I can't stay mad at him too long. I can. <laughs> All right, he maxed out the car. That was really dumb. He charged $300, but it was kind of cute. Cute? Cute? I can't believe you're being so understanding about this. Okay, he does foolish things, but his intentions are good. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Did he give you that line about, touch me, take me home, if love is wrong, I don't want to be right? <laughs> yeah, 20 years ago. Chet? <laughs> Haven't you been listening your father? What does Chet have to do with this? <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> All right, now I have to run down to that store and get a present equally expensive for your father. Here, cut this up for me. Okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Woo! Wow! What a game! Guess who I saw in the stands? Who? Simon Davis Jr. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. So what? White folks see Elvis Presley all over the place. Why can I see that? Where's your mother? Dad, I should warn you, she just went out to get you an anniversary gift. And she's only doing it because she was... I gonna... knew she had no willpower, but at least I'm ahead of her. Smartest 25 bucks I ever spent. Bad news, because she's outside spending 300 on she you. what? I never could trust that woman. <laughs> I gotta get that card back from Chet. Uh, it's right here, Pops. Down here. What'd you do this for? Well, cut up the cards. It was your idea. Honey, I got one nerve left, and you're getting on it. <laughs> it's not my fault. I know your mother. I know she got money stashed around here someplace. Oh, it's in her button box. Now you're talking. But there's nothing there, because she just cleaned it out. Now you're talking too much. <laughs> Where can I find that kind of cash before tomorrow? No! Don't even think about it. That's my seminar money. Next time you see Sammy Davis Jr., you get it from him. <laughs> uh, Dad, no. Leave me alone. Ernest, what kind of son would refuse to lend his own father money? A smart one. <laughs> Ernest, I'm giving you love, protection, and nurturing care. Now it's time for you to come back with some cash. Mm. Dad, I've been saving for a year. So what's a few more days? I'll pay you back Friday with my overtime check. Dad, I'm not going to lend you any money until you put up some kind of collateral. Wow! Turn out the heat! Getting a little chilly in here now. Dad, I mean, I have to be at that seminar next Saturday morning, cash in hand, or I don't get in. I mean, I'm going to miss Martin Scorsese, the Hudson Brothers, Warrington, and Reginald, Spike Lee. And you know what's so great about those people? Even after they got famous, they still took care of their daddies. I've been planning for a year. I'm buying an anniversary present for your mother. Do you realize if I hadn't married that woman 18 years ago, you wouldn't be here bleeding me dry? <laughs> okay. okay, what kind of collateral? I don't know. What do you have? My autograph. 1950 Philadelphia Phillies baseball. Is it worth anything? <laughs> you can sell this in a minute. I've had it since I was a kid. It was signed by the whole team. See? Richie Ashburn, Jim Constante, Granny Hamner. Mm. Well, I hate to part with it. Well, no, 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 no. you won't. Because you're going to pay me back, right? So you're going to loan me the money? Yeah. Hold on. Um, here, uh, sign this piece of paper. I'll fund the fine print later. You expect me to sign a blank sheet of paper? <laughs> okay, don't. Happy anniversary. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I should sign this in blood, but I've just been drained. <laughs> George, you are so sweet. A romantic anniversary breakfast. Let's move this along. The Eagles and Packers are on in 10 minutes. Uh, George, I know that we promised not to buy each other gifts this year for our anniversary, but... Oh, I couldn't resist. Happy anniversary. Uh, <laughs> well, honey, I have a confession. I knew you'd run out and buy me something, but as usual, <laughs> I am one step ahead of you. Oh, well, oh, 
open yours first. All right. Wow! What a surprise! <laughs> that must have cost three hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, well, if I know you, you spend at least that much on me, George. You shouldn't have. You telling me? <laughs> oh, bunny slippers. How many balloons did you pop to win these? <laughs> You see, that's what you get for lying. Me lying? I found out you bought me something. At least I got you something nice. You see, lady, that was a test, and you failed it miserably. See, that's not your real gift. Here's your real gift. Two presents. Oh. Oh, George. Oh, I love that. Oh, mm. You love it? Yeah. All right, then you keep that feeling the next year, because I ain't getting you nothing next year. More tea, Mr. Harris. Oh, why, thank you, Miss Harris. <laughs> what are your manners? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't get invited to many tea parties. I think I know why. <laughs> Dad, today's Friday. Tomorrow's my film seminar. Small problem with my overtime check. Computer glitch. Oh, no, you didn't get it? I got it, but it was made out for six billion dollars. <laughs> oh, Pops, I need that money by tomorrow. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it until Monday. Dad, we had a deal. Don't make me do this. Oh, just, just do what you gotta do. Do you really want me to sell this? It's okay. Just let me take one last look at it. My dad caught this ball. Had the whole team sign it before he gave it to me. Hmm. Kick it. Oh, man. Hey, Mom, um, I have... Uh, I have this... this... Uh, nothing. <laughs> no, Mom, um, have you ever been stuck with... Uh, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm fine. No, I can't, I can't. No, okay, that's right, that's right. I can do this. Thanks, Mom. But That's what mothers are for. Mommy, did you have fun at my tea party? Yes, I did. I drew a picture of it for you. Well, thank you. I'm the one that. hat. Oh. oh, what is this? I, George Harris, owe oh, Ernest Harris the sum of 200 and what? His autograph face? Dee Dee, where did you get this paper from? In Ernest's room. Oh, okay. Thank you, sweetheart. Ernest, come here. Ernest, you're going to that film seminar tomorrow, huh? I don't think so. Oh, why not? Well, you know these things, they come around every once in a while, like Haley's Comet. I'll just go to the next one. <laughs> a little short on cash? What do you ask? Oh, this is cute. You know, we should put this up on the refrigerator. The <laughs> other side, Ernest. <laughs> you know, I only loaned Dad the money so he could get you a nice gift. Oh. I mean, I tried to make it a, a cold, impersonal business deal. But this is Dad's baseball. You know, from Grandpa. And I know how much it means to him. What am I going to do? I call this emergency family meeting to order. We have something serious to discuss. This family is out of control. You and I have gifts we can't afford, and your son can't go to his seminar because you borrowed his money. Oh, great. Thank you, Judas Jr. <laughs> George, how could you put your son in a position like this? Position like what? I gave him the collateral he wanted. He happens to care for his father more than he does his seminar that could have brought him one step closer to his dream. He couldn't bring himself to sell it. 
Honest? What? Why didn't you sell it? How could I? I mean, I kept thinking about the baseball from Grandpa and how he caught it, and I just couldn't do it. Honest, I got one thing to say to you. Thank you. <laughs> this ball does mean a lot to me. I, you, you, I owe you one. Yeah, you owe me 275. <laughs> Who's counting? George, why did you do it? First, you max out the credit card. Then you spend your son's seminar money. What are you doing with all this money? I didn't max out the card. Of course you did. I tried to use the credit card and I was rejected. A, a Mr. Harris ran it up like a mad fool. Well, it wasn't me. Well, it wasn't me. Well, it sure wasn't me. <laughs> Chester James Harris. Whoa. <laughs> What did you do with that card before you gave it to me? And what did you do after we talked? I sent you to get your mother's gift, not to have a joyride on my car. You sent Chester to get my gift? <laughs> just the bunny slippers. Well, I just bought a boombox. But it wasn't for me. It's, it's a family heirloom. <laughs> you see, I'm going to hand it down to Ernest, and uh, he can hand it down to Dee Dee, and someday she'll hand it down to her kids. You must think you're talking to some kind of fool. Well, George... Don't go there, Laney. <laughs> now, this boombox has to be paid for. Oh, no, I got that covered. See, I'm gonna pay for it when I turn pro. No. You gonna get a job and pay this family back for every cent that you charge. Oh, man. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Everything goes back. The necklace goes back. The boombox goes back. The watch. And especially those bunny slippers. Ernest, we'll be liquid. You can make your seminar. The credit cards stay cut up. We'll close the account. Agree? Agree. All right. And no more stashing cash. Period. You must be crazy, exclamation point. <laughs> Mom and Dad ultimately had a nice anniversary. He took her out for dinner. Luckily, the Colonel takes cash. <laughs> oh, I went to that film seminar, right? And I learned from the masters. As for Chet, he tried to return the radio, but it was on sale, so no refunds, no returns. So guess who's been working weekends at the Donut Shack? <laughs> Speaking of the devil. <laughs> Man, this job is a drag. Hey, welcome to the real world, Chet. Earning a living is hard work. No, it's not the work. It's all them free donuts. <laughs> they starting to get to me. Oh. There go them afterburners. You know, in the end, I think the family learned a very important lesson about money. Don't let Chet near it. <laughs> the women of America love sensitive, masculine men, and women like what they see in Ned Blessing. Ned Blessing, next. And get ready for the new CBS season, The Superstar Superstart, coming September 20th.